B has been quite ambitious in his growth plan for a long time now. If you look at our history for the last five, five years, we've been quite growing very strongly. Our, our growth overall CAGR has been around 35% for the last seven and a half years actually as a bank. But if you look at specifically in the first half, we are growing largely because we, would, we are the largest lender in mortgages in this market. We're number one bank in mortgages. We're number one as well in corporate business. We're number one in retail today. And we, we don't play a bigger role in, in SME and micro, which is an area we are looking at growing. So, and, and because we're able to grow across the region in most countries, looking at it in Rwanda, especially in this market, which is quite growing, this has been a strong area for us to be able to support the group's growth. This is one part. Uh, so the second part has been that we've taken advantage of really improving efficiency for the bank. If you look at the cost to income ratio, 56%, uh, really this is perhaps one of the best we've achieved in the bank in our history. The first quarter we were here, we were 63%, and a year ago or so, we were 65, 67%. So we see more efficiency. Of course, it's growing lower than inflation. Now, earlier this year, we saw the Monetary Policy Committee meeting uh, by the central bank, lowering the key central bank rate from 18% to 16.5%. And of course, this comes at a time when inflation has slowed to 10.05%. What direction do you see interest rates moving in the second half of the year? In the second half, we expect to see the rates coming down uh, into where they were before a year ago. So you won't be surprised to see rates of 15, 16, although the, the, the MPC will now meet much after two months. But we expect that we see inflation in 9%, 8% in the third quarter of this year. So we are confident to see the rates, which are going to be much lower, especially on the cash link side. Now, lately, there's been a focus by banks on agency banking as they race up to get the customer deposits. How is KCB maximizing on this, as well as how has been the growth in this area? What we see agents banking is increasing the level of deposit. In the first half of the year, our total agents are bringing in much more deposit than they're paying out. So it's a real channel. Our target this year is to increase our agents by over 100%. Last year, we were over 2,800 agents. By the end of 2012, we expect to be able to increase this by more than 100%. This is in Kenya. And roll out this solution around the region. Now, agents also do more work than just receiving deposits. We are also equipping our agents with much more technology-driven products around uh, being able to pay out, being able to help us in a school fees process around the country. And we are confident this is one of the channels that will increase not just the financial services depending on our customers, but also increase uh, the number of customers that we actually have as KCB in this year. Moving on, Joshua, talk to us about your expansion plans in the region. We've seen that all the subsidiaries reported 100% growth across board during the first half of the year. KCB has been the most regional bank since the last uh, 15 years. We started going international in 1997. At that time, no one w was willing to bet that KCB was going to break through in international markets. But what we've seen in the last two years is our businesses became profitable in 2010. All subsidiaries were profitable in 2011. We see 100% growth. And the rate of acceleration for this will be very significant as we go forward. What we see, those units, we see them contributing more than 15% of our total growth for the group in the first uh, in the midterm, which means by 2014. As you go into 2015, those businesses should contribute at least 25% to the total group. Lastly, we know that KCB currently has the largest number of bank branches across the region, as well as the largest balance sheet in East Africa. Which areas will you be maximizing on in the second half of the year? For the second half of the year, we are, we are optimistic as KCB. One of the things I like to mention in, in the first half is we've seen, because of the tight liquidity in the market, we've seen a high cost of funds coming through across the whole industry, not just KCB. In fact, we've seen our cost of funds increasing in the first half uh, to around about closer to 3%. Uh, same time last year, we were below 1%. But with the MPC adjusting uh, CBR, we've seen an easing on the interest rates uh, in the second half. But our real focus in the second half is to be able to drive technology-based product to our customers. And I'll just mention two as an example. We relaunched perhaps one of the best mobile banking platforms in the region that any of our customers, irrespective of their network or their mobile service provider, they can actually bank with KCB. So we have got six countries, and they can be able to transact. So we'll continue to grow our assets um, in Kenya. We'll continue to focus on technology. And last but not least, we should ex we should, KCB is focusing much more on improving its efficiency to become world class in terms of cost to income ratio.